Hey, what's happening everybody? Rod J back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Today I'm taking a look at one from Stillwater Artisanal Ales. This is the Hop Vine Bling. This was actually done as a collaboration between uh, Stillwater and also Hudson Valley Brewery. It comes in at 5% ABV and it is a Berliner Weiss, which is indicated right there on the label. And it's actually kind of interesting. It's a Berliner Weiss that's dry hopped and done with Savignon Blanc grapes. So it might be a little bit of a wine feel in here as well. Let's go ahead and get this baby open and get it into a glass. See what this one has to offer. Now, at the time I'm actually making this video, it is January 1st, so hopefully everybody's off to a good start on the new year. Um, hopefully, uh, everybody's ready to turn the page, so to speak. So, check that out. Nice color on the beer. Slide this out of the way. Pretty good clarity. You can see me right through to the other side. Nice golden straw color. Kind of has a nice color of something that might be considered to be more of like a white wine, I guess you can say. Uh, the head is fading really quickly down to a uh, quarter finger or so. And it started out nicely at about a two finger pour. But look at that carbonation. Lots of lively action taking place. You see all the action streaming. So everything's being released, all those gases and everything. Let's go ahead and get the aroma. Yeah, this one has a definite uh, more of a, a likeness to like a wine. I'm getting some of that grape action coming out very easily. Climbs out of the glass nicely. Some tartness on the back end, but mostly it's just the grapes up front. If you were to be blind tasted or blindfolded to taste this one, I think you would think you were probably about to drink a type of a wine uh, rather than a beer. A little bit of a funkiness in there as well as far as the taste. You get a little bit of a tartness in there. But again, it's almost like a mouthful of wine that also comes through. If you uh, are a wine drinker out there, you will definitely associate this taste with that. And it's also got a little bit of a taste from the grapes that make it kind of more of a fruitier type situation. You get a nice sting on the tip of the tongue. A nice refreshing feel of the flavor in the mouth as well. Has a little bit of effervescence quality to it. Carbonation is definitely in play. It's leaving a good duration of some of that grape flavor there from the uh, grapes that were used. Definitely get a little bit of a tinglet in the cheeks as well. So a lot of good things going on with this beer. It is thin, not overly thin, but you do have a thinness quality in there as well. On the back end, it goes down rather smoothly. No really uh, harsh type situation as far as the throat burn. Do feel a little bit of that carbonation there in the swallow. The bigger the swallow, the more you're feeling it, of course. Do feel a little bit of that, I'm going to say like sourness, funkiness in the taste there. But again, it's almost just a, like a sparkling wine. It's not, not really doing anything much differently than what you would expect along those lines. Definitely have a nice light body on this at the 5% ABV. You can actually go through this rather easily. Feel the finish, not too bad at all. Maybe like a little bit of a, a semi-dry type finish there. A little bit of a slight bit of an astringency, but not much. This is actually uh, something that if you're a wine drinker, I would say you might, wanna, if you were a wine drinker looking to cross over into beer, this might be something that'd be more in your uh, wheelhouse. As far as rating it out, looking at the appearance, I think the appearance is pretty decent on it. Now, again, this is coming in as a sour, so a Berliner Weiss, and it doesn't really have much of a head. The head's always going to kind of fade on these beers rather quickly, but the color of it, the clarity of it is definitely a pretty neat, decent color. You get a nice golden straw yellow on there. So I think the appearance is pretty decent. I give that a 12 uh, along those lines out of 15. As far as the aroma, aroma, like I said, it came out of the glass rather easily. You did have to sniff really hard. And for something to be done with the Savignon Blanc grapes, you're getting that up front in the uh, initial whiff. And then you're also getting a little bit of that tartness there from the Berliner Weiss. Very nice smelling beer. So for that, I'm actually going to give that a 13 out of 15. As far as the flavor... I think you do get 
kind of what you're looking for as far as the quality of a beer like this. With the Berliner Weiss, you do want a little bit of that sour tartness, but if someone told me they were putting in Sauvignon Blanc grapes, then I would expect to also get that wine feel. There's no doubt you are getting that. And you're getting it in the initial and the finish, and it's leaving a nice duration of the flavor as well. So for me, the flavor on this one is a 13 out of uh, 15. And then as far as the palate, I think it does sit well on the palate. Uh, nice, like I said, light body beer. Uh, you do have some of the nice texture on there as well. To be a light body, you expect to be a little bit thin, but it's got that nice amount of uh, thinness that does fit for this type of style. Carbonation wise, not overly carbonated, but you are feeling it some. And the feel of fitness, like I said, going down, you're not getting really hit too much with anything on the back end. It still has a nice uh, flavor that gets re that remains there on that palate as well. So for me, on the finish, I give this one here a uh, 12 out of 15. And then as far as overall, I think together it all comes together nicely on this beer. Nothing really being thrown off on it. I think it makes a nice little decent package. So for me, overall on this one, I want to give it a 35 out of 40. And then let's total those up to see what the total score will be. So for me on this one on the Hot Vine Blend, it comes out to be an 85 out of 100. So a nice looking beer, a uh, nice tasty beer. And if you happen to see it, check it out. Let me know what you think about it. If you've had it before, let me know. Put some comments in the comment section. Love to hear your feedback on it as well. That all being said, thanks for checking out another video. I look forward to catching you guys next time. As always, keep drinking those good craft beers. And remember, there's always time. So get your beer on. Cheers.